the United States and Cuba, mark a new era in their diplomatic ties by reopening their embassies after a half-century of estrangement. Along with a ceremony, Cuba on Monday opened its Washington mission after 54 years freeze, while U.S. on Sunday took over its former Havana mission from the auspices of the Swiss embassy. The flag-rising ceremony for the reopening of Havana mission will occur during U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's visit to Cuba in August. A new stage in both countries' diplomatic relations were signaled last month when President Barack Obama and his Cuban counterpart Raul Castro with exchanged letters agreed to restore ties on July 20. In 1961, US-Cuba relations were severed following efforts of the US to topple the communist Cuban regime and set of restrictions and sanctions that followed, aiming to enforce democratization and improvement on the human rights issues. Raul Castro urged the lifting of these sanctions in achieving the normalization process, while the U.S. wants compensation for its seized property following the Cuban Revolution. United Nations General Assembly in 2013, urged U.S. to lift the decades-long embargo against Cuba. A little more than a month after a meeting between Obama and Castro at the sidelines of an America summit, U.S. State Department removed Cuba from its state sponsors of terrorism list on May 29, 2015, further easing the tensions between two countries. Before the recent reopening of the U.S. Embassy, U.S. diplomats reported that there were no sign of U.S. diplomatic presence in Cuba. The normalization process would include cooperation on issues such as global health, human rights, expanded reach to telecommunication to Cuba and U.S. fugitives that are long asked for their return. In December 2014, with the assistance of Pope Francis, the first steps into a normalization process between two countries were taken. Following the negotiations, the U.S. lifted several travel restrictions and allowed U.S. bank access to the Cuban financial system.